I sort of fell into forestry through uh, mates that I went to uni with and got in doing some casual work for a forest contractor and that ended up being a, quite a permanent job. Just one thing led to another. We ended up going working for one of the wood chip companies which at that time was Forest Resources. Worked there for a little while and while I was there they decided that they were going to get rid of their day labour force and put everything out to contract. So my business partner Roger Grimes and I set up the company and contracted back initially just to forest resources, planting, fertilising, basic labour and just build it from there really, just as uh, we could see services being required. Just one thing led to another and it just, uh, you know, I mean over the, we've been going since 1992, so 16 and a half years. We've just gradually sort of added pieces to the business and tried to sort of put together a full service. In the last few years it's been really been driven by MIS with the big plantation expansion, but as I would see it, we're getting more and more second rotation plantation sites. So I think as the companies become more and more reliant on plantation as a timber resource or as a fibre resource, um, our side of the business will be, you know, fairly sustainable, I would think. MIS, I think, will probably contract a little bit. I don't think that the programs that they've been, that we've been seeing over the last few years, will continue at the levels that they have. I think land availability will probably constrict that a bit. So I mean, I guess from from our point of view as a company to maintain our size, we've got to offer a level of professionalism that, that perhaps other smaller companies can't. The stopping of conversion of native forest to plantation, which personally, you know, I, I think is you know, a good thing, um, given that there's enough marginal farmland out there to put plantations on. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. I think anyone that's arguing that um, that, that a piece of ground is better off growing beef than, than wood fibre it just doesn't know, has no idea about soil science or has no idea about agriculture or the land or land conservation or water quality. I think that you know it, anyone that's made, trying to make the argument that, that putting a plantation on a piece of ground is bad for the environment is, is either foolish, uninformed or yeah, just it has a, a totally different agenda than, than environmental conservation. Soaring technology that people are getting and peeling technology and composite wood products and, and trying to value add, you know, people trying to value add out of plantations rather than just looking at sticking them down a chipper and pulping them. I really think that, um, yeah, I think that uh, that sort of technology could, could make the industry, you know, really, really viable. And I think that once the message, you know, hopefully the message will get out there that putting plantations in instead of growing beef, you know, on those marginal areas is is a good thing. And I think that it's good for the environment, it's good for water quality and it's good it's a good profitable business to be in.